Hey everybody, so today I wanna to show you how I keep track of everything I've ever done to my 2001 Land Cruiser, whether that's scheduled maintenance, whether it's a breakdown repair I did, whether it's an upgrade I did to the sound system or, or whatever, right? And the reason I did this is I wanted, I wanted to keep track of how much money I was spending on the vehicle per month. Um, I wanna keep notes on what I did, so that way if I had to come back and, and do something else to that, I, I had notes from before of what, what I saw. Um, and also just understanding how much money I was spending so I could project out how much money I needed to set aside for maintenance each month and make sure that the vehicle was still worth operating, um, which it still is. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so diving into the spreadsheet here, we'll get to the left-hand side here a second. I wanna start off with the right-hand side. You can see here where I purchased this Land Cruiser back in April of 2016. I've had it for over 3,000 days, over 100 months. I purchased it with 149,000 miles, which at the time being this kind of my first used car purchase, I was like, wow, that's a lot of miles. Hopefully it's not gonna be crazy repairs and all that stuff. Um, but you can see I'm at over 300,000 miles now and uh, put over 150,000 miles. Now on average, I've done about 1500 miles per month. Um, obviously that kind of fluctuates with trips and long road trips, stuff like that. Looking over here to the maintenance uh, costs area, this might be like a sticker shock, but I've spent over $20,000 on upgrades, maintenance, repairs over these eight years to my Land Cruiser. Um, some of that is things that I wanted to do, but you can see $18,000 of it here was things that were kind of required or, or maintenance type activities. Um, and then we'll get into this a little bit later, but the life minus the trans is at 14,000. What that means is I had to have a transmission replacement. Uh, like I said, I'll dive into that later, um, kind of unexpectedly. And so I kind of account for what the cost without that would have been to get a better idea of what I'm spending on all the other parts of the vehicle to keep it up and running. Um, you can see here on average about $180 a month I spend on maintenance over the last eight years. Taking the transmission out of the equation, we're looking at $140 a month. And then per mile, 12 cents uh, per mile on repairs. And then taking the transmission out, we're at nine cents per mile, which is a pretty good average across the board. Um, but this has actually gone down over the years, which I'll show you in the graph later. So scooting over here to the left-hand side, here is where I track every repair or maintenance item that I've ever done to this Land Cruiser. And I have it kind of binned into different categories, fluids and filters, so oil changes, engine air filters, um, differential fluid changes, transmission fluid changes, stuff like that. Any kind of brakes, brake pads, rotors, calipers, spark plugs, coil packs in the second column here. And then I have the exhaust column here for any kind of tailpipes, midpipes, mufflers, uh, stuff like that. Uh, other maintenance is things like batteries or PCV valves um, or any kind of other things that pop up. And then emergency repairs were things that I really, I kind of had to do to keep the vehicle running that I wasn't expecting. Um, that's pretty big again because of that transmission replacement that I did at $4,000. Then I have things like proactive, like replacing cabin air filters or doing a power steering fluid flush, which could be considered scheduled maintenance, but you don't have to do it. And then I have the wants column here uh, of things like replacing the new antenna or upgrading the LED taillights here for 190 bucks. So things that you don't have to do if you purchase an old vehicle, but things that I wanted to do to keep it up and fresh. Um, so you can see here, if you're looking to buy an older Land Cruiser, this is kind of a good idea of what you should expect to be able to spend on it over those uh, years that you own it. Um, you can see things like oil changes and stuff isn't a crazy amount. Um, where I started to get into a lot of the higher uh, amounts was um, brakes and rotors and calipers. Now, a note here is I did try to use OEM parts where I could. Um, so exhaust pipes and, and calipers were a bit more expensive than I would have bought an aftermarket one. Um, other things in here, um, in this other maintenance column, uh, we see is almost $4,000. And that's things like batteries, tires was probably the biggest chunk of that. Um, again, battery, uh, water pump, fan bracket, timing belt, stuff like that. And then tires at the bottom here you see again. Emergency repairs, talked about that one. And then proactive things. Again, that's cabin air filter, um, hood struts, stuff that doesn't need to be done, but I just kind of went ahead and did it to keep it uh, as modern as possible. And then our wants column here at $2,500. That's things, again, like the antenna, tail lights. Um, I replaced the window trim outside the the windows on the, the door panels, which was not at all required, but I wanted to do it and make it look a lot nicer. Or this shifter plate here, 
um, or the LED uh, instrument lights behind the uh, instrument cluster. And like replacing new seats for $700, new, new leather seats, stuff like that. So obviously not required, but things that I did. And I wanted to break it down so you could see that's not stuff that's going to really factor into your, your cost of operation necessarily for, for an older Land Cruiser. Now, what I did here is if we take a look and we scroll down, I binned all these repairs by month. So I would take things like March here of 2017 and bin those costs and then put it in here by month. Uh, for the repair cost in this column here. And then I graphed it uh, at the bottom here. And you can really see that when I first bought it is where I spent a lot of the money, the most money getting things as modern and upgraded as possible. And then kind of later on, I've had a lot of months where I've spent no no dollars on the, the vehicle. Um, again, maybe about a year ago, I spent a good amount kind of upgrading some things, doing some repairs, and then a, a few months with no repairs at all. So if you keep the vehicle up to date and you you keep things modern and you repair things when they need to be repaired, you can have a, a quite a few months or a period of time where you don't have to spend a lot of money on, on an older vehicle. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. And if you have a way to keep track of maintenance different, feel free to drop it in the comment. Or if you spend more or less on maintenance, drop it in as well. I'll see you guys next time.